uh, top 10 because he's an athlete who I feel has brought a level of conditioning um, to shows consistency. Um, I do feel that he's a little bit down on, on his legs in some areas because he's obviously got atrophy on his right side, etc. But he brings a, an amazing display of hardness and refinement in certain muscle groups. Yeah, he's put together kind of funky. Like the arms are really, really big, and you can see the slightness in the quadriceps. And he's kind of have a long torso with really high lats. But yet when he actually poses, you see, you see some things happening. Those traps, they start at the top of his ear and come all the way down. Very unique traps that he has. But you can see in this pose how high the lats are and how long the torso are. Now I have I have age for him, uh, Neil. He's 35 and actually started out his his uh, exercise career, if you want to call it that, as a boxer. Oh, wow. Which alludes to some of the really well-worn, mature muscle that you see on his frame. Yeah, I mean, he didn't start out as a bodybuilder. I started out as a bodybuilder and wound up, you know, as a retired bodybuilder, making that transition is sometimes hard and it takes a little longer to develop everything. Where Michael ha is a little weak in is in the back department. You'll see this now. And we've always said most contests are won from the back. And even though his back doesn't have the separation in the detail that it should, he's still able to knock off people and get titles. He's won over in Chicago. He's won over in Vancouver. He's won to get to this competition. So there's some bodybuilders that are very complete that he's taken out on sheer grit. He's had 11 top 10 finishes, including one here tonight. This is the top 10 you're looking at for the men's open division. He's got a lot of density and thickness, obviously, in his shoulders and his uh, running through his arms. Yeah, you can see he's strong in the arms for sure. 